Is that his daughter? We never got an aunt. Am I, I am watching you, Rodent. not picking up the subtext? What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? Sorry. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? What kind of a term? <laughs> is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. Okay. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot. You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Oh. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. <laughs> In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. What's that? Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. <laughs> it, it, it's... An Earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. Mm. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Okay. Oh, come on. Let me out. I hate that he's laughing. He used my toothbrush. This thing looks so sinister. Hey, who said you could touch? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. <laughs> eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Oh. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control uh, thingy. Uh -huh. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Mm. Uh, they press a big fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. Uh, super soldiers. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. Mm -hmm. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a. What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line, that I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. 
What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. Mm. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Mm. Okay. And let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Okay. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it controls me? Uh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk. And a few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? Hmm. We appear to be 8,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out my on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Set course for the mock I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the... Guys. I think we should... hear our group for once. I... am... He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Fu. <laughs> it is brilliant. You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? Oh boy. You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to. No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. 
I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? If she goes for... We'll do... we'll do Rocket. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. All right, let's do this. Okay. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Oh, it's bad. Don't make me fly. Walk. You can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Okay. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. <clears throat> Ow. Ouch. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll yeah, take yeah. forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. Okay. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Space Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. <laughs> what is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Oh. That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Yep. Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. The wind is strong. Right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. Yeah, keep word live! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. Oh, great. Oh? Uh -oh. I ever mentioned how much I hate being wet? Yes. Many times. Oh. Mark, not again. Oh. 
Peter. Gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Oh. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am Oh. Eh, not sure. I. I don't want to mess with but that. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking Half-World, I think I'm scared of some little... Ah! It's not alone. Get ready! Peter, why did we land so far? Perhaps these were sent by Lady Helena. around here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary the creatures here are not her pets mm. you sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here where the flark is she going there's a trail going through the jungle try to find a way up no fails shoot stuff words to live Husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk. Drax, you can pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. There we go. Great. We made it halfway up. There they are! Wing controls! Oh, what on. does your magical mask reveal? Give me a second. Uh. Alright, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great! Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. Okay. Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Okay. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. 
That don't sound like no lady either. Okay, can I scan? Okay. The size of track. What's she tracking this big for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking oh, for trouble, yeah. assassin. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Egg closer. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave. It's a monster cave. No, just try to stay ready. Okay. Supposed to get that. I want to just hope that crossing all of this here will get me over. Wow, look! Just me or that one. I'm Stop fine. worrying! I ain't far, Quill! Scream really loud if you find another blob creature! You know I will! Okay. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. Uh -huh. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. Okay. Alright. Oh! Gamora's <sighs> changing outfits! Sniffing out smelly caves, Quill. Yeah, well. You done exploring, Quill? Yeah. Cause uh, I really need to talk to you. What's up? All right, man. What's up? Look, there's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I think I'm dying, Quill. Even with all these freaking augmentations, shut knows what else. I I just I need to know that you'll take care of Groot for me. Oh I had no. no idea, man. Does Groot know? No, 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 and uh, you can't tell him. It'll destroy him. No. If the day comes that I just promise me you'll take care of Groot. Will do. Promise. I will take and, care uh, of Groot with my entire heart. Are you in that? Uh, are you messing with me? <laughs> um, you know, say you'll bury me <laughs> in the in the Milano. <laughs> um. Oh, I can't believe your face. It was like, I, I can't even describe your freaking face. Oh. What is wrong with you? Why would you even joke about something like that? Because it's funny. You don't oh. think it's funny? Come on. 
Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Yeah, well. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. Patience is a virtue of the hunter. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. Yeah. Following a creature. That is so fun. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. No! There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Now what? Um, what this you get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Hey, this lady. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. But what about her sister, Nebula? Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous, can we focus here? You're frightened of monsters, Peter Quill. Only the scary ones. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Let me scan. Okay. Uh, oh that my. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. Wait, what do you not have time uh -oh. to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate oh the my. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! I'm encouraging Drax. <laughs> He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Yeah. Peter! It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies <laughs> to cats. You sons of dogs! <laughs> Scott busted at I am not familiar with these words. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's making them up. He's really pissed. <laughs> you free bag and flark hole! At least he's not shooting at us. <laughs> oh. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not? That felt very understanding. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait. scud again. Wait. Oh, people. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Rocket! Take 
Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were Her voice so familiar. Carried. By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. Hmm. Maybe they weren't carried. Maybe some muscle head threw them over the ravine against their will. <laughs> Lady Hellbender could no doubt accomplish such a feat. Uh, how do I get up here? Yeah. What's Jatari Jack doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units says it ain't. I should. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Half a planet? Lady I didn't park that far away. In seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tippets are questionable. You could say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. Oh, wait, not what? There. No, you didn't just say he's caught me. The more mind cutting us a path. They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Maybe so. Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitari infantry. Mm. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress. No. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should just go. Oh, no, boy. you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Okay. Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Um, okay, right. Peter. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Oh boy. Easy does it. What is that? <gasps> what the floor? I'm not here. <laughs> Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. Oh. I know I didn't. You just blinked at the wrong time. Run. Oh. No. Look. Look. Okay. We'll try this again. Oh, boy. Come on. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Just go more with my life. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Again, I recognize her voice. Who's the voice actor? Who's the VA? I got it. Oh. Uh. Guys, anyone know 
what that is. I don't really want to know what that is. <laughs> it has eyes in its mouth. Like a starfish. A monster. Drag. Come on. Fuck, I miss it. Oh, come on. Expose the abdomen. Attack the stomach. We must get beneath it. Um. Oh, boy. But it's Come running away. Aw, <laughs> Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I love Gamora. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Then it's settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Okay. Oh, Gamora. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Dig in, Gamora. That looks like a good spot. On it. Okay. Hey. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, whoa. Back out the upper wing strut. Right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow, it okay. is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Oh my god. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. Okay. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. Okay. Gamora? What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables, I just need a way up. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Surprise! This thing has been picked clean for. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress. No giant monster. I wonder if I can get down there. There goes nothing. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. Did he perish? Thank well. Oh, wow! I'm alive! What are those? Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on oh. to the monster collection. Hey, you think he's stuck? Perhaps. Oh, come on. Ow. Oh. I wonder about that wing cable. Probably too thick to just shoot, though. Hey Gamora. Hey Gamora, did you pull me over? 
What if you wedge your sword in the crack? Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh yeah. We made a deal. He can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? I'm trying. Or uh. No. First a down resistance ship, now a Nova Corps one. We're two out of three on Galactic War Bingo. Maybe this was a staging ground for the push against the Shatari. Or maybe it was a bug stronghold. Oh, they that. were shooting these things out of the sky. What am I not seeing? Gonna need a hand up again. Are you gonna have me do yeah, this right all there. day? Let's do this. We already got the reactor down, Quill. Don't think there's much else you can do up there. I thought our objective was to climb the ship. That is what Peter Quill is doing. You're both right. But if we're gonna get all the way up to the top of this thing, we'll need a different way. Right about Are we there. sure we want to go back up? I'm getting used to not being completely soaked. Perhaps the storm will have abated. At the rate we're moving. What next, Peter Quill? Mora, I got something for you. No way. This brings back memories. Nice. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Okay. It took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger, we are getting closer! <laughs> What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. It's so interesting. Uh -oh. It looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh oh. Uh, guys, you might want to wait to come down here. Oh, well. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? Yeah, a little bit. Think? Son of a smack. Breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, get fast. Why Where am I supposed to find reaching? a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! <laughs> like what? Flark, flark, flark. Well, no. Oh, God. Oh. Peter! Peter! I'm more worried about rockets. Takes me a minute to figure this out. Okay, we'll do it again. New mechanics. I'm a little confused. Give me a minute. I'll get a hold of it. Oh, slimy. You might want to let everyone else know so they don't nice. jump down. No, 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 no. To come down here. Ah. I noticed Why more the in here. So deep. In a, jam, boys? a little bit. Oh, you think? Oh, smack! Breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Clark, Clark, Clark. Oh boy. Well. 
Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scum like this. You don't get my tech. Please look at the wall. Well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, you might as well be mad. Or sorcery. Guys. Demon caught in the box. Some kind of morphing man. Or sorcery. Here we go again. Okay. Do what I did. Up and over. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. It would give us some steps to climb. Worth a shot. Okay. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. Hell yeah. It is more stubborn than expected. Okay. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. Uh. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working just do it. it. Out. Trust me. Just do it. I cannot hold it forever! Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a recoily thing. You sure that's the term for it? Drax, can you try again? Succumb to me! English <laughs> machine! I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Okay. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Oh. Group, any way you could bring that one down with vines or something? 
He says his vines ain't strong enough to move them things. Huh. Oh. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shikari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. Who better than you? Both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of them. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah. <laughs> you okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shikari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and. Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump started the thing. Larkin, you okay? <coughs> yeah. And dry now too. Okay. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hep. Oh! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its broodmother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again, and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me catch. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure it's... I'm exploring. Oh my god, my team, my entire team. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just you know, turning water into ice. Go on. My gun's better. Uh I think I can see my house from here. Scout type stuff. Scouting. Nice. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Uh, what can I see from up here? I wonder if there's a common monster hunter uniform. Like, are they organized or maybe even just a style? Who would adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of the prey? Yeah, I'm not pulling that off. Although I do like skulls. The garments would be full of holes, shredded by the beasts that they hunt. Quill has that one covered already. Monster, there's usually some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Yeah, I'm glad we know where we're going. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? Oh, Drax, could you move a bit to the right? Why? Your big butt's a nice wind cake. You may shelter yourself behind my butt house. Thanks. Now what? Hey. You're a cool dude, Groot. Yeah. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, you've known Rocket way longer than I have. You know he can be kind of unpredictable, temperamental even. What I'm asking is, is he going to be able to go through with this? 
That sounded like a yes. Good. Thanks, man. How? What is, what is the point of that? Where did you guys go? Uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. Should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously broken. In fact, wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. Uh -huh. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. I have changed my mind. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Great to know that it's disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every. Okay, that's kind of weird. What's what's that? Hello? Anybody? Oh, please. Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Meter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got Monster gotta food? Your taste buzz. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into buzz. the fortress with our. With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Great. Why are you whispering? Two more things we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is not. Peter! Oh, well. There's no time for plan. Hi! Stumpy's back! Oh, well, that was not fun. One is up to two. Rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and mm. now all these monsters. 
I hate this barking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. <laughs> that is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, <laughs> really great speech. Okay. Um... Uh... So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Halbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Okay, that's the way we're going. Right? Oh, Groot. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. Fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Thank you. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. Bizarre. Hey, yeah. at least I have some to count. Okay. Cleave ho! I was in the mood to cut something. Hell yeah. No, it ain't. What the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. That is doubtful. I agree with Groot. <laughs> it's important to stay hydrated. No, well, let's not talk about hydration. Whoa, that is I may or may not consistently forget to drink water. Which, by the way, drink water. What the fuck? You said that corn it's getting real hard to put this game down. Rest. I'm on a roll. was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid claw monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but He's wet and it, hungry. I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. Let's just get this done. Excuse me. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flocking infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. We gotta go. Three cycles. Anything behind us? Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Alright, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Remind me again. <laughs> How many missions have we been on so far? Thirteen. Fourteen, if you count contracts. Contracts. Yeah, it was not a mission. Yeah. It was a mistake. All right. Point is, is I was able to sell you, Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin, as a hero. Fourteen times. <laughs> Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Gamora, so can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. 
you stop worrying so much, you're gonna start growing knots again. All right. Okay, here we go. So cool. They seem so peaceful here. I never saw a real well when I was a kid. I guess this sort of counts. I'm sure it's real pretty, but can we not draw its attention while I'm stuck in a flarking cage, please? <laughs> I hope Peter learns to park closer Does next time. No! Sounds like the Hulk, like, theme music from that first movie. You don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. His mama. He misses his mom. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? She looks so I'll good. I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. says grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid but it's been busted ever since i can remember and he says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush imagine that something growing inside of you slowly taking over enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, Aww. wondering what might be out there. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? Huh. I warned you. No, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. That's so cool. Don't That's worry, such a cool cake. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't know that I was Look going to be a part of that. Friends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> no, Peter. Uh -oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. What's happening? I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. The 
that was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. <laughs> PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. <laughs> You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Compromise. We can still this do all mom. that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. Why did I have a You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. Hmm. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Ow. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Don't Don't you dare touch that dial. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Is it war? Are they playing war? That sounds like a dog. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. You wouldn't, Mayor. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Oh, other room, other room, other room. I used to have a painting like this. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Gonna have to get mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty Aww, slim, I bet. Peter. Sky's clear. Wonder if mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. This is like that scene. Oh. 